what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Come over there, register for the site. It's free. All sorts of good stuff going on. Wonderful people in the forums. If you're not into Facebook and you don't want to, uh, you want to, you know, YouTube it's hard to, to actually have conversations. Come join the forum. Uh, well, come join the website. Enjoy it. Haven't been on for a while. I uh, had to take a week off. You know, sometimes you just can't look at these Mars pictures too much. But I've been dying to get back to them. It's been a while. Like, I feel much more refreshed. So I'm going to jump right into this one that uh, the new saws are pretty amazing. They've got some blurriness to them, but uh, these are pretty cool. This is from Saw 990. My friend uh, Sarah uh, Runcy, she had put out a, a truck on Mars picture on one of our uh Facebook pages. She she puts on she has her own Facebook page, and she also uh, added you know she's one of the administrators at the What's Up in the Sky Facebook page. And if you want to get to that, you just click the link below. But this picture had so much more than just this cool looking. You know, it does kind of look like an old school truck that would have just been you know dilapidated sitting there. Now, um, let me show you just to, I always do this. Let you know that you're looking at a real NASA picture. Here it is right here. Here's how it comes from NASA. What I've done is, if you're new to my channel, if you're not, um, you, know, you already know what I do. I clean it up a little bit. Here, here's it directly from NASA, and I've got three other views. Oops, not the transparent view, but we've got three other views that we've uh, kind of just pulled it out. Uh, one of them, I've put a little blur into it first, and then tried to get some of the the, the marks out of it. And then uh, the other one, I just went ahead and went with it. So we'll try. We'll start with this one right here, and you know, let's just start with that little truck right there, because there's all sorts of interesting stuff right up in this area, especially where let me get my pointer out. Um, especially like these kind of like stair-looking things, and you know, maybe yeah, let's go with this one for right now. Well. I think the color is a little bit too off on that. Yeah, let's do this one. Now check this thing out. It does now. He said it does look like a truck. I mean, it, like if you're just to look at it, it looks like a truck. It looks like a little box truck. Here would be the front cab. Here would be the back cab. Now, of course, I don't think it's a truck, and I don't think she did either. It just looks like a truck. You know, when we sometimes we put these, uh, you know, labels to them. We're just trying to say here's what we, uh, you know, here's what we see. But interesting shapes in it. Look at the circle there. This comes off here where you kind of got a blur mark down through here. So it's kind of blurred out. You can't see the uh, a whole bunch of good stuff. But where it's not blurred, you've got like a sphere with some things with like a uh, bar coming off of it here. A couple more spheres. Um, just an interesting piece. If anything, I think it looks like a, a piece of a building, if, if not that. But what's kind of really interesting about it, it's got this little circle piece right there. And it's definitely noticeable um, in every single one of the, like here's right there, there's black and white. You see it there. Um, you can definitely see it directly from the NASA one as well too. So it's there. It just kind of looks like somebody's carved out on the top. And with, look how flat, flattened out it is. Just an, it, pretty cool if you ask me either way. Um, as we go on forward looking from this. There's some interesting stuff up on this one. And this, uh, I'm going to try and not take too long on this one because uh, like there's so many to get to. I want to get a whole bunch more videos done. But I want to look at some of these shapes in here, like like these things. And uh, like you got these figure eight shapes that are just kind of on the top of sheared rocks that they look kind of sheared off. And then you've got pieces that uh, just seem like it's been dilapidated. It looks like some, to be honest, it looks like another, uh, a perch or something. Let me back it out where possibly, uh, you know, there was a building up here, you know, or up here, or who knows. Let's keep on going down. Yeah, there's there's stuff all over this picture. Down here, there's some interesting stuff. Um, it's just kind of strewn about, just like our typical Mars pictures are. Um, but check that this thing out here. I was calling these uh, the stairs right here. It's kind of like they look like they uh, they're stairs. But if you really really look at it, it's really interesting. Let me see if I can uh, see. I was I was tinkering with it so much. Um, see how it's got like different tiers. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. And as you go up, this one's got like a, another little baby tier, but with like a perfect sphere on it. And I, I just kind of boggles my mind what that might be, you know, whether it was just something ornate that was carved. And who knows if this stuff is, uh, you know, actual stone or if, it, if it's, uh, 
you know, it could be metal, some of the stuff, for all we know. I do believe that NASA adds this this color to it to make to throw us all off. It's like this puke, um, butterscotch puke. I don't even know what to call it sometimes. Um, this is just from NASA right there. Look at now, let's take look at the uh, how these lines seem to be paralleling each other. Almost like there's something in the middle of them. Um, it, that's not the only place it does that. It does it up here as well, too, which makes me think, you know, intelligent design, something along that. Some, something intelligent had worked on this at one time, like tubing or something like that, or an inlay for something, possibly. Uh, just cool stuff. Check that out. See how that comes up, and it's just kind of up and over there. Here you've got more just unnatural, to me, unnatural, um, you know, cross marks here and it comes down and around and here to me this looks just awfully bent up more like a, a piece of metal would be let me see if I can't uh, the black and white doesn't look any much better but see how it kind of has like these draped ornate pieces to it it might be really hard to see that on this like especially if you got a cell phone or something and we're getting pretty far back into it but it's one two three four and it kind of has the little thing up top to match it. Could be anything, it might not. Here you've got just this green squiggly thing at the bottom of it. It almost looks like a, <laughs> it looks like a big green squid or something like that, or squid, a little slug or something that you see. Um, we're, it's turning summertime here where we are right now in the United States. I'm in the United States on the East Coast by a, uh, by Ocean City, Maryland. And that's why I've been so busy getting the – it's mowing the grass, uh, getting the pool ready and everything like that. Had to buy a new filter for the pool, so it's been a really fun one. Um, but we have those little slugs everywhere. See how this kind of just up and around? It's green, too. It's interesting that it's green, and that's the only thing around it that's green. See? And it is green. Let me show you. Even in the puke brown, you can see how the little green's in there. All right. Pretty cool stuff over here, too. We've got a squared off piece that seems to have um, some other boxes in it right there. Another sphere, almost like on that little truck piece uh, down here. Right here, see that right there, that little uh, rounded off, not sphere, but like a rounded off piece. Almost looks like it's, something could be dropped down in there. And up here we've got a, uh, this looks to me more like a big a big head. Say, okay, here we go. Let's just say that this was looking up, right? Like this was a big old forehead. We had eyeballs, a nose, a mouth, and then back behind it. Now, this is where it says, well, yeah, that's kind of far-fetched there. It could be. But this is very straight, and this is blur. So you can't, you can't go by anything right here because it's all blurred out. But check how straight that is down there. And then it's got another one that comes down here. It's almost like it, uh, you know, like it was designed like that. And I do believe that whatever happened there it just destroyed the planet. So we're looking at remnants of, of whatever it was. Uh, that's, that's my personal belief. As of right now, they're always willing to change. I'm very open-minded when it comes to this stuff. I uh, don't keep my mind. I don't shut my mind because anytime I do that, I will lose the truth or at least lose sight of trying to find the truth, if you know what I mean. Um, anybody who thinks that they've got everything known, I try not to follow them. Here, if you don't mind the little, uh, the NASA from here to here, the green blur, this looked like a, a white piece of uh, some sort of metal or something, or, or some sort of different type of rock. Uh, see how it's kind of shaped there? And it almost is shaped like if you just, if you put it up, it would look like, come up to a perfect arc. Uh, make that big on screen, see? Now, granted, we're also looking a little bit off in the distance on this. Not too far off, but as we come up more on the corner here. Um, pretty interesting stuff. Like I said, this is... Uh, you get a lot of these. So here's a little sphere, and you got this coming this way. It, there's no like rhyme or reason to it. It just looks like I said before, Uncle Jake's Junkyard. It looks like stuff is just thrown about the whole picture. Um, and... With what I think happened on Mars, that that seemed like that could very well be what would have happened. Um, so we took a look at this right here, and we took a look at the uh, these pieces right here. Um, even here, see how these are kind of squared off too? Like, like I said, kind of flattened off the top. The bottom rocks flattened off, and like this stuff is just kind of carved on top of it. 
where you've got these figure eights and everything along those lines as well. I always uh, I always link the stuff below. So if you if you want to get this for your, I do this pretty much for most people. I think most people who watch my videos are uh, you know people who search this stuff out themselves. So I always leave the links for you guys to find it. Um, here you got a cool little arc piece right there. Um, as we move on up here, I know I'm missing some stuff. It's interesting. move back over to that part that uh, that we looked at first look I mean you look at the back of it here you've got what seems to be equally spread out little pieces of something um, definitely interesting like I said it, this is uh, by no means no smoking gun but this is one of the ones that I wanted to show you I had ready to go what it is uh, once again you get the blur see this here and this is what just annoys me about these pictures a lot and it is a I mean it's definitely done you can see here it, it doesn't look like that but then you look right there even right here the bottom part it looks much more less blurry than that and it just it's never random. It just seems to be when there's something interesting there. And maybe that's you know maybe that's just how it's uh, you know how it's how it's rendering itself. We already know that these are rendered at 70%. If you watch my old videos, we're not getting uh, you know full 100% JPEGs as raw images. Raw images aren't JPEGs anyway. Um, if you know anything, you know know a little something something about photography and uh, you know spacecraft imaging. Let's see here. I thought this was kind of an interesting piece. Just kind of came up. Nothing too out of the ordinary of it. Now, this was kind of hard. This was kind of blurred out here, and I did a, I did my best at uh, cleaning it up. I just think these white pieces are very interesting, especially like the, you know, you got this one up here. Where'd it go? Right here, and it's almost white, but this one's really white looking. I don't want to miss that one. I just saw something over there. Um, and here is it directly from NASA, so you can see it sticking out. But here you got another circle here, just another piece. Where was that? And it's me back it on out here. More of Uncle Jake's junkyard is everywhere junk. Everywhere junk. Like I said, thanks, thanks to Sarah for finding this one. Here you go. Here's what I wanted to find. Yeah, check this out. So basically, you've got this piece right here. It's kind of a little blurry. It's hard to see. But up at the top, there looks like a ring. But on the ring, see how it's got this? Uh, it's like lifted up off of it. It's a sphere, almost a perfect sphere. So what do we see in there? You know, That looks like it just didn't, you know show up like that you can really see it when you you back up out of it um that it's there but pretty cool oh man there's one other piece in this land here i wanted to show you this this right here has a very interesting uh laid to it watch as i back out just kind of seems to have some sort of uh like it was a brace of something does that make sense like a brace yeah a brace of something and here you got more like sphere stuff with the spear in the middle of it, almost like a platform. It's flat, and then there's a spear sitting on top of it. I'd love to have seen Mars in its pristine condition. You know how it looked. Uh, you know whenever this uh, civilization lived there. But I said this isn't one of my best videos. You know, this this obviously isn't a uh, you know slam dunk old civilization video i've done a lot of those so far though i tell you if you go back and, and look into the uh into the archives this is one that just shows more more you know proof here more you know look <laughs> you know look at it you know what what designs these stair tape thing stair type things you know and uh this one well yeah this little piece here was kind of interesting too look at the uh this kind of comes up and around and goes over almost looks to be shaped um, interesting stuff you know they said they said nature could have done this very well especially with water flowing on the planet here you got two uh squigglies right there and then one right next to it 
that's pretty interesting, especially to have them, you know, doubled up like that. And you've got these uh, real dark spheres in here, like something was drilled into it. And this, to me, just looks like a, uh, doesn't look like the strata you see, you know, the flat stratas, you know, that we can we can tell here on Earth where, uh, you know, how far back we're going. Look at this. See how this kind of angled up this way as it goes up the hill, almost like something going up and down the hill. You see what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of good stuff from these coming up. I'm not going to keep you long on this one. I just wanted to get to show you this right here. I thought Sarah was onto something cool here with the truck. I just thought that was awesome. Look, it even like I said, it even has the big horn. So, toot toot. All right, guys, this is Will. What's up in the sky? 37. I got a couple really good ones. I'm going to go. I got to do of. Uh, I got to do a lot of enhancement too, but I want to really try and pop these things. The new ones are really really good. Some of these new saws. We're getting to where the goodies are. You know, we've got a lot of stuff we've passed along the way, but, you know, at the base Mount Sharp is where if this place was underwater, I would imagine all the stuff that would be washed up and just kind of gathered here like it is here. Um, like I said, I, I don't think at any time this was what it looked like on top of the land. I think this is what is, you know, become of the catastrophe that took Mars out. So... All right, guys, much love to you. It's good to be back on. It's been a while. Like I said, a little quick short one here for you. Sorry, uh, you know, sorry I haven't been here for the last week. I had to get some stuff done. Uh, you guys know how it goes. I got some space news coming up here eventually. All sorts of good stuff. Here we got a little uh, breathing pipe for our guys who live underground. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. I shouldn't laugh because I'll tell you what, who knows? Um, as I go through here one more time, I'll let you guys go. I thought there was a couple of rocks down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These right here. The torn rocks. Check these out. Tell me these look torn. See these? Almost like they were melted and then torn. Interesting stuff. And imagine how uh, a lot of these new pictures are coming back so blurry. and It is very annoying. A cylinder piece here that kind of you know shreds down to the piece at the end. You've got some interesting uh, brightness to that piece right there. More what I call the uh, the the 90 degree angle. I I swear it looks like there are, are absolutely just uh, pipes, piping and stuff like that just thrown all about the planet. Whatever it was, it must have been a pretty highly uh, sophisticated planet. I think they had water and some great water delivery devices. That's just from all the pipes I've seen, or, or air delivery devices. Maybe they had to go underwater, so or under the ground. We're both. All right, guys. Much love. What's up in the sky? 37. Come check it out. My name is Will. Peace.